My daughter Mika has a big heart. She likes to do things to make people happy. And these days, she sees a lot of dollies with way too much free time in the afternoon. She's worried that they are not spending their time constructively, maybe watching too much TV, not active enough or engaged. She decides that she should offer them an after-school program at her home, invite everyone to come and spend time together. Sounds great, no? So, should she jump right in with her plans? She isn't too sure. She's also trying to decide how she should structure things. Mika wants her dollies to be happy in the afternoon and not bored after school, but there are so many options. For example, what should she do with them? What types of activities? Should she teach them how to read or teach them how to play musical instruments, maybe board games? And depending on the activities, Mika has to think through this carefully. If she serves them hot food, for example, can she prepare it on her own? Or if they are learning mathematics or reading skills, should she add to her team? Or can she do this all alone? And what type of materials does she need? For example, what if she does art projects or sports activities? She will need to get some more equipment. Not only this, she's wondering about group dynamics. Should she have dollies of all different age groups? And of course, Mika will want to make sure to mark all religious and cultural holidays that respect everyone's background and offer food that meets everyone's dietary restrictions. In terms of space, how many of her dollies can be accommodated? And should Mika include her friends' dollies? If they come from far away, does she need to provide transportation? And what if they want to go on field trips, like to the pool? How should she arrange it? And considering all the possible expenses, will she need to at some point start charging some type of participation fee? This is getting overwhelming. Mika realizes that things could get a little complicated. And how should she decide these things? Should she plan activities and then see who wants to come? What are the steps that make sense? Mika decides she should create a theory of change. She wants to understand what she really hopes to achieve how she defines success. Where should she start? So Mika begins to ask herself the following questions. The who, what, when, where, how, and why. Who am I hoping to influence in some way? What are the specific results I am working to achieve? When will I expect to achieve these results? Where and under what conditions will my efforts take place? How will I make this happen? Why do I think my activities will lead to my desired outcomes? Let's walk through this a bit. The long-term outcome Mika hopes to achieve, the impact she would like to make is to have healthy and engaged dollies in the afternoon who will eventually become contributing members of society. There are many things she can do, different kinds of interventions, towards reaching that desired result. For example, it could be through the arts, reading skills, helping them with music, play, sports, and more. And what about the dollies? What do they think? Why would the dollies want to come to Mika's after-school program? Is it for the camaraderie or the fun, the learning, the togetherness? Or what if they are all just showing up for the snacks? It's time to do some research. Expected desirable outcomes for after-school programs include academic achievement, social and emotional development, prevention of risky behaviors, health and wellness. Overall, the research emphasizes the importance of after-school programs. Well-run programs can provide a structured, safe, supervised place to be after school for learning fun and friendship. Not only that, dollies who participate in after-school programs show an increase in their feelings of self-confidence have positive attitudes towards school, and exhibit more positive social behaviors. So, equipped with her research findings, Mika wants to reach out to her target community to get a sense of how they feel. She wants to approach this all in a very participatory way. And her main stakeholders? Her dollies and their parents. How to get their feedback? How to create a conversation? She decides the best way to approach it is individual interviews. While questionnaires were an option, she was concerned that the dollies wouldn't take the time to fill them out, and she was also concerned about literacy issues as well as cultural sensitivity.
she made an interview guide based on the research findings and spoke to the Dollies and their parents. So what are their priorities? She wanted to find out, of course, so she asked her Dollies a variety of questions. She asked them what they thought was most important. And what did the parents of her target participants think was most important? What were their priorities? Mika asked again about academic achievement, social and emotional development, prevention of risky behaviors, health and wellness. And after getting this feedback from her target community, she was ready to go. Mika really had gained an initial understanding of what the current opportunities were for her program, as well as potential obstacles. She understood what the research tells us about this issue. She had spoken with members of her target community and her primary stakeholders. She was beginning to understand and get an initial sense of how to design her program. So, maybe you can help Mika out. How would you help her to articulate the desired outcomes? What are the preconditions or short-term outcomes she would need to achieve in order to advance towards her longer-term goal? What would be indicators of success? What activities should she offer? What should be the guidelines and inputs? Food, mentors, instructors? Let us know what you think.